Hey there and welcome. Today I'm going to go over how to use Pirate Ship with the Shopify store. Now this only works with the United States Postal Service and UPS because I just added that. I also want to say that the way I pack orders because I have a lot of items on my shop because I sell embroidery supplies so there's a lot of different flosses and fabrics that I will print all the packing slips for the orders. I will pack up the orders and then I will print the shipping labels after. Now a lot of stores, if they know the weights of the orders, they will print the packing slips and the shipping labels at the same time. They won't be weighing the packages after they're packed to print the shipping labels. Now there might be a better app for those situations where me, it's not really possible for me to know the weight of the orders until after I have packed them up. So I have to do them individually anyway. There's no bulk printing labels. Now I'm gonna go over to the computer. I'm gonna show you my screen and I'm gonna show you how I print the labels in the way that I found is the fastest way possible. To add Pirate Ship to our Shopify, we're first gonna hit the apps tab and then the green button in the upper right corner. We're gonna search for Pirate Ship. Then once we find it, we are going to click on it. And then we're gonna hit add app. Once it is added, you will have a unique login that you'll create for Pirate Ship and you will find it in your app section. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to print shipping labels with Pirate Ship for Shopify. So to load your Shopify orders into Pirate Ship, you hover over the Ship tab and then go over to Import. And then you'll wait as it is loading your orders into Pirate Ship. Okay, now that they are loaded, so the loading icon has left, we are going to put our order number up top. So this one is 9083, and then the order will pop up. Anything you see that is covered on the screen is addresses and stuff like that, so I don't want you to see that. And so to get your printing, or to get your label, you're gonna go over this get rates button. And then this is in a poly bag. And for any poly bag, if it's not big, I think bigger than like 15 inches. No. Yeah, if it's bigger than 15 inches on a side, I would probably do this box. I And then enter in the thickness as well. But my envelopes are not too thick or too big or anything. So then you just enter the size of your poly mailer that it would be with nothing in it. So this would be 11 by 10. And then the ounces for this package is seven. So once you have that entered in, go down to get rates. And then see this one, I'm shipping first class. You can choose priority mail. I don't really know how fast the parcel select would be, or you can even do express. I'll just be careful. If you're printing labels on Shopify itself, oftentimes it will change to what the customer has picked. So if they picked priority, it will already pick priority for you, but this will not. It is always on first class as the cheapest option. So if someone picked priority, you need to be extra careful to click priority. Now, if you buy the label by accident as first class and then you realize that you need to change it to priority, you can always cancel and delete the label and then you can make a new label. So in this case, I need first class, so I'm going to go down to buy label, so it's 351. And then up here, you can hit to print. And I found that if you hit this download PDF button, that my PDF uh, Adobe program will pop up automatically, but if I hit the download label, it will not. It will just put it in my downloads on my computer, and then I'll have to go in and click it. Now when you're printing a lot of labels, you want speed. So I recommend click, clicking the download PDF. So then on my Shopify screen, this is the fastest way I found to print these labels. So you have your Adobe Reader with your PDF on it of your label. And you, you want to minimize it. So it's covering the stuff that you don't need to know when you're shipping. So I like to know people's names. I need to know the order number and I want to see what way they want it shipped. So like first class or priority. And then once I have it positioned in here, I can see both of these tabs and be working without having to keep switching back and forth on the bottom, like opening up my PDFs or opening up this internet tab with Shopify. So now that this is open with my label, it's usually already like pre-clicked onto Adobe. So you can hit Control P on your keyboard to already bring up 
printing. And in this case, I need it to be my label printer. And I hit print. And then once the label is printed, you don't need to do anything else with that order. It will already preload into Shopify that you have shipped it. It will put the tracking number into your program and it will send people the, the email saying that their order has shipped. And then in this case, I was, if I was gonna go print the other one, we would go back to my other screen. And then from here, exit out of this label. Then you hover back over the ship tab, click import again. It'll bring you back to where you can enter your next order number. Okay, so now we're gonna do an order and we're gonna try to do it as fast as possible. So you can see how quickly you can actually print your shipping labels. So enter my order number, get rates. This one is a 13 by 10. Nine ounces by label, it's first class, print. And then usually this would pop right up, but I'm recording on one screen. So that one that one's done. And then I can just go right on to the next one. And usually I don't have to come down and click between the, the box uh, windows. But because I'm recording on one screen, that's why. You would usually be quicker because you, if you have two screens, everything's all up. You never have to be clicking any of the windows down below. And now I'm gonna go over a few more things in Pirate Ship, just to, to help a little bit with speed. So if you go in this import, let's say I'm going on my next order. Now I'm not gonna actually print it now, but when you are putting these um, dimensions and stuff in, hit tab on your computer keyboard instead of clicking. Like you don't wanna click hit 11 and then have to go touch your mouse again to go over to the width and then hit 10. What you wanna do, you click in this first one, let's say you type in 11, hit tab on your keyboard, it will automatically bring you to the next box, so your width, and then you can enter 10 and then if you hit tab again, it's gonna bring you to the pound area. In this case, it's not, or it's under a pound, so then I can tab right over to ounces. Let's say it's eight ounces. Then that is all done, then I just have to scroll down, click get rates. Because you're gonna be printing a lot of labels, if you have a lot of orders, you want the least amount of moving your hand around unnecessarily. So I just wanted to give that tip. Uh, I also want to show so in settings, in your payment method, so you'll put in some sort of card. Now if you have a card that you get points on, that would be smart. I don't currently have one yet, but I'm working on it. Because you want to rack up, if you can get 1% cash back or something on your postage, that would be great. It's basically free money because you're going to be spending the money anyway. And then when you go down to here, your default payment amount. So this is how much it will load onto your account. So I have mine currently set at 250. So when I run out of money in my account, it will charge my card for $250. And then I have $250 to spend on postage before it will recharge me for the 250. Now you can click up to a thousand. And if you don't click anything, it will charge your card for every single transaction for the shipping which if your bank charges you after you have so many transaction a month, that might be a problem. And also for accounting reasons, it's gonna be more annoying if you have 15 transactions in a day versus a larger transaction every day or every other day or once a week, once a month or something. So to get the scan form, you're gonna to wanna to click the pirate icon at the top left corner then end of day and then you're going to click create scan form and then print scan form it will pop up in your PDF from there you can print it and then that is what you will have the postal worker scan and that will scan all your packages into their system instead of having to individually scan each package a lot of post offices I think if you have over 20 or 30 they do not want to scan them individually Okay, now that we are off the computer, I did want to say that you can enter single addresses that they don't all have to be imported. I did forget to show that on the computer. And when you do it that way, it will go onto the scan form. So you don't have to worry about it missing that one because it wasn't one that was imported. I also wanted to say that I can print between 30 to 40 labels in 20 minutes with, with the way that I use Pirate Ship. 
So if I know I need to go to the post office at 2, I will start printing labels around 1.30 and I am good to go. That is all the information I can think to share about using Pirate Ship with Shopify. So thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful.